Hi, so I thought I'd give you a uh, look at the new Zone Director to Ruckus One migration tool that was just released. Um, and so in the past, there's been a ZD migration tool, which um, you had to go into Ruckus Cloud or, or Ruckus One, add all the serial numbers of your APs, um, and then go into the Zone Director and, and, uh, and run the migration, right? Um, and so, the change now is that we're going to actually take a backup file from the zone director, import it into Ruckus One, which is going to populate all of the APs as well as the radio settings for those APs into Ruckus One into its own uh, venue when it creates it. So a little bit of a change there. Uh, and so essentially, um, the first thing we're going to do is we go into our ZD. So this is a ZD1200. It's running 10.5.1. Uh, so this this tool will work with either 10.5.1 or 10.2.1. Um, and if your zone director is not running one of those two versions, you're going to have to upgrade. And if you don't have support on your existing zone director, don't worry. We're not going to make you buy a, a support contract just so that you can you can run this tool. Um, we can give you a 24-hour entitlement file so that you can, you know, do a, a one-time upgrade and get your zone director on one of the supported versions so that you can run the tool correctly. But looking at mine, we see that we have two APs here. They both happen to be H510s. They're both connected. Uh, and you, you want those APs to be connected before you start this. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go to into administer and we're going to create a backup file from this zone director. So it's going to create a dot back file locally on your machine. Uh, so that only takes a few seconds here. So mine's, uh, you know, 566 K you can import up to 10 megs. So that's a pretty massive file. Um, so from the zone director side, that's all we have to do for now. Then we go into ruckus one. Uh, we look under administration. ZD migration down here. And we're going to click this migrate ZD configuration. We're going to browse for our file that we just created. So that back file, and then we're going to validate it. So it's going to import that and it's going to parse through that file to make sure that it's good. And so, you know, fast enough, there's two APs. They're both valid. So here's my APs with their serial numbers. Um, and so, you know, as many APs as you have, it's going to, it's going to pull them into that tool, right? Just as easy as that, rather than you having to type in all those serial numbers. Um, so then we, we hit the migrate here. It's going to ask me for a venue name. So, uh, new ZD demo, doesn't really matter. You can also put in an address if you want. So we'll just choose something. Um, and we'll say migrate. And then it's going to run through the progress here, right? So um, system importing, and you'll see a few pop-ups in the bottom right corner as this progresses. So there's the venues created. Uh, next thing we're going to see is the radio settings were updated. And then uh, it should be just about done. There we go. So it successfully migrated that backup file. Okay. Um, and so what we should see now is if we switch over to venues, we should see our venue we just created with two APs in it. Right. Um, and uh, so obviously this is grayed out. So, so those APs are, are, you know, waiting, right? So they are, if I go over to access point list, they are never contacted cloud for those two APs, but they're, they're there. Um, they have just not contacted the cloud. So the uh, final step from that perspective is we need to go back to our ZD here when we're ready to, to do the final migration, right? So you don't have to do this migration immediately. It's gonna wait for you. Um, so you can get this prepared ahead of time and then migrate them you know, in, in after hours. Um, so we go over to access points here and we can highlight our access points, go to, um, sorry, we got to do them one at a time. Go to more and then do join another controller. And so immediately you are going to see those go into blocked, right? And so it's go, it went from connected to blocked there. So basically it's just 
the the zone director is blocking those APs from recon reconnecting to the zone director, right? Because we don't want them to reconnect because we assume that they are going to, you know, uh, come back, uh, go on to Ruckus 1. And so what we should see here is we should see those APs um, connecting to cloud, which will take a few minutes, right? So they're, they're um, going to now um, connect to connect to Ruckus One. Um, so the first thing they do is reboot, right? Uh, they reset the factory, they connect to cloud, they upgrade their firmware to the to the Ruckus One version, get their configuration, and come online. So it'll take them a few minutes, but really that's all you have to do. So um, so a few minutes from now, those APs will be uh, will be up and running in the new um, uh, the new venue you created. Now, what you do still have to do though is you do need to uh, you need need to create your your um, Wi-Fi networks, right? So it did not pull any Wi-Fi networks, so you still need to build the SSIDs and configure them within cloud. So that part of it did not happen automatically, uh, but it did automatically pull those APs in and and get you up and running from that perspective. So uh, much easier than the previous version. Um, and so, you know, it's, 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 uh, should simplify your life substantially. So that's it for now. Uh, enjoy. Thanks.